What we're going to look at today is why you would want a visualizer in your class and what sort of things that you can do. A feature of a visualizer is the camera. Every visualizer will allow you to take a still shot of a piece of work which you can then put into your interactive display software to highlight, annotate and model with. But I think it's also important that you have a visualizer that has a decent video camera on it because that way you can use it for capturing evidence of class discussion, it can be used for speaking and listening purposes and you can then use that to either use as a revision guide or to put onto your VLE or to post to your website. A really important feature on any visualizer for the class is making sure that it has a decent amount of optical zoom. Now optical zoom is a bit like your camera, when you zoom in on something the lens moves. What's really important about optical zoom is, is that you can zoom in very close on an item without losing image quality. So I have a very small pin here that I want to show to my class. Without a visualizer I end up having to pass it round. With this particular visualizer I can use the optical zoom functionality to get in very close and show in very clear detail to the class what it is that we want to show them. Most visualizers uh, have a, either a gooseneck like this or a fixed arm. Both of them have their own advantages. A lot of teachers really like the flexibility that a gooseneck gives because I can manipulate the neck and point it in directions to see other things. So for example, I can point this to a piece of information I've got on the wall and use my zoom to focus in on an area and start to make use of lots of the great displays that most classrooms have. An important feature on visualizers is the split screen functionality. So for example, I've got a piece of work here. I can split the screen and compare and contrast it to a, another piece of work, which allows me as a teacher to look at before and after, um, lower retaining, higher retaining, and potentially model to pupils how we can actually make changes to a piece of work to make it more like the higher retaining piece of work. We're looking at the freeze frame functionality on a visualizer and some of the uses for it. A visualizer is a really great tool of saving schools money because I can take a non-standard textbook like this and show the information to my class without having to photocopy or without having to buy 20 copies of said book. In this case we're looking at how the moon doesn't shine, it actually reflects light from the sun. So using my optical zoom I can make the information large enough for the class to see clearly. And I can focus the pupil's attention use the freeze functionality on my visualizer to keep that information on the screen while the pupils look at it and use the information.